half, you win by six, you, you lead by 16 second half. ULM, they were able to get back into it, Coach. Yeah, we knew they were going to fight. Uh, they play hard. Uh, they have some good players. Uh, they do a great job on the boards. Um, you know, a senior night, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. I, I did think we got a lackadaisical me mentally with a couple possessions there in the second half to let them back in. But, uh, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. They've won seven of their last ten. They just beat Lafayette here, who's you know, really, really talented. So we knew it was going to be a battle. And I'm thankful that our guys, uh, you know, figured out how to finish the job. Late in the ball game, it's good to have those. You got three free throw shooters who shoot over 80 percent down at the stretch. Having it with Spud and Miles at the end was a comfort. Without a doubt, yeah, those guys hit big uh, free throws for us. But I thought, you know, probably down the stretch, our, our matchup zone, our 2-2-1 back to our matchup zone, enabled us to get a few stops. And then once we got the rebounds, they fouled us. And then, like you said, uh, those guys are such good free throw shooters that uh, they can kind of ice the game for us. So, um, we gave them a couple of threes where we weren't up pressuring them the, like, the way we need to. They have some really talented three-point shooters and Mo Cure and Mets and Gallo. And, um, those guys did a good job uh, keeping them in the game. Let's talk a little bit about your defense overall in this one. You, you had challenged your guys and, said, and basically said, if you defend them the way we know you can defend them, like you did Arkansas State in the second half last week, that, that there's... You can't lose. Yeah, yeah. I believe we'll be every team in the league if we play for 40 minutes the way I know we're capable of defensively. Yeah. You know, I think there was a stretch where we started thinking about the stat sheet a little bit early in the second half, and I think that's where, you know, defense didn't become the number one priority. First half was, was amazing. You know, there were maybe three or four where, you know, we, somebody didn't do their job, but overall it was an amazing, uh, you know, defensive clinic in the first half. But you have to be locked in. You cannot take possessions off of the Sun Belt Conference. I tried to relate to the listeners just how important this game is. You and I talked about it in pregame. Yeah, you won it by 26 a week ago there. Uh, you can't take that for granted. But this was a big game in the context of it going down the stretch of this season. You had to get that split, Coach. Yeah, we needed to. We definitely want to be, you know, top four. Obviously, we'd love to win the league. It's looking really, really difficult. Uh, depending on what App State does, but we want to finish as high as possible. If we can finish second, we want to finish second. Third is the best we can do, we want to do that. So the only way you do that is by winning the game in front of you. This is the most important game on the schedule. They were playing with a lot of confidence, and so I'm thankful the guys got the job done. It, was a, it did get the job done, Coach. Thanks so much for the time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Conversation with Coach Scott Carl.